when you encounter a question like this on GMAT, you have to understand what the meaning of the word tenth and hundredth plays a role in a question like this. So when you take a look at this number, 3.2 square rect um, triangle 6, it's asking us to figure out the value of this square. Well, uh, with the data sufficiency part of the GMAT, you need to be able to look at the first statement to see if it's helpful. So let's take a look at that. When the decimal is rounded to the nearest tenth, 3.2 is the result. Well, if you look at the question, 3.2 square rectangle um, triangle 6, the value of square is not quite clear, even though we know when we round it to the nearest tenth, we get 3.2. Rounding to the nearest tenth means we pretty much look at this two and then see if the number next to it is bigger, is five or greater. At this point, we still don't know what the square is, which is what we're looking for anyway. So telling us that it rounds to 3.2 is not really helpful. So statement one is not really helpful. Statement two says when the decimal is rounded to the nearest hundred, the value is 3.24. Well, in that situation as well, still looking for the square is a, it's still a very difficult thing to do because telling me this is 3.24 means even though this 4 is now representing the value of square. Well, we don't know if the tr um, triangle was bigger than 5, which means this used to be 3, and then this value of the triangle, like a 6 or 7 or 8, added to this 3 to make it the 4. So this 4 could have come about by this 3 having a 1 added to it, or this uh, square actually being 4. So from this second statement, the square could have been either 3 that got added to make it 4, or it could have been a 4, actually, which means the triangle was less than 5. And in that case, because we have two options, that is still not useful. So that is not helpful. When you look at both statements, you still have the same issue. There is no way to independently find the value of the square, just one unique value. And as a result, the answer will have to be E, because there's just no way to determine the exact value of square. Thank you.